next uh, our next speaker, Kahim Priest. He's here today. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, I know he's. <clears throat> I see at least one person live streaming there, so I see a couple of iPhones up. Uh, Kahim takes pride in the love of others as well as building long-term relationships. Over the past 10 years, he's played a key role in the success of many businesses, social events, and assisted with career management for some of the top talents in the area. He has a few businesses of his own, but his biggest accomplishment is being an outstanding marketing strategist, as you will hear in a little while. His area of, his area of focus is coming up with creative ideas that build platforms giving, to give his clients the spotlight that they deserve. He is most active on social media platforms, as we just said. I think he's live streaming right now. We have, uh, we have uh, and he, uh, he pushes content daily. If you follow him, you would know that. A large portion of his content is based on giving his viewers an uplifting, uplifting push, understanding his own development, his own business development life, and the direction he believes world's, world's going on, what's going on in the world, and how to take on the world in full, full force. So we're very fortunate to have him here as our next uh, speaker. Let's give him a big round of applause and welcome him up. I don't think I'm gonna use the mic, I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 it's the highest, it's the highest, it's the highest. Thing now. No, I'll use the mic, I'll use the mic. I feel like I want it both of my hands. Hello, I'm Kahim Priest. Um, no, I don't, I don't do mics. You gotta do it for the recording, man. Oh, oh, okay, okay. All right. Ooh, ooh. I'll get away from that, you know, it's the height requirement over there. I don't like it and all that, you know what I mean? But I'm Kahim Priest. Thank you all for coming out and, and you know, just you know, thank Will, you know, for doing this 518 Talks. Uh, so I started um, as an event coordinator, you know what I mean? I, uh, I did a lot of club events and it actually turned into me being more of an event planner. I do weddings, I do social media, uh, uh, I do social media marketing. I don't, I don't, I really don't, dang, do, do I really have to use this? Uh, so I'll, I'll use this. I don't like, I don't like mics. I got a man now. Okay, 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 okay. I like to move my hands around and all that. It gives me that little swagger that I need. But um, so I started as a a, a nightlife um promoter. Shout out to Damani. He's in the building. Uh, he actually gave me one of the biggest chances around the time that Sneakies was big. You know, he allowed me to uh promote his events and. It allowed me to become, you know, a, a, a social media influencer. You know, I, I I've been able to have uh, reach with, with 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 tons of children, um, adults, and so forth. So, basically, it actually it actually started there, and um, so I turned that around, and I ended up starting to do event planning for weddings, and I started doing social media strategy. I, I'm, I do social media strategies. So what I do is I help build platforms for clients um, as far as uh, s spotlighting what they do. You know, you, this gentleman right here, he has a, 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 a clothing line, you know, and everything deserves a spotlight, you know, and it takes, it takes someone to actually take the time to spotlight what, what other people do and, and help build their revenue. So... Um, I don't like how I did that. I just don't like mics, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna get it done because at the end of the day, nothing beats a failure but a try. And I know my mother's here with me, and and that's all I got. So at the end of the day, um, so my journey started, um, my journey started 1989. Gonna say 90, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was counted out before I even knew how to count. You know, I I I was a child. You know, put in. You know have had doctors feeding me medicine, uh, saying I had ADHD, I'm a child. I'm a child, what are we, what are we talking about here? I, I, how can I have ADHD? You know, they, they would try to stop my flow of thinking and my, my movements. To me, I think a lot, so I think they just wanted to slow down, you know, uh, my generation. But we'll, we'll keep that for the sciences and all that, but um, so, at the end of the day, uh, 
I was I was put in classes that I felt I was beneath. You know, I, I felt like I didn't deserve to be in, you know, smaller classes because they felt like I couldn't learn and I felt like I was counted out since since a child. And and the direction I went in more or less was to show that anybody can do anything they want, you know, no matter what anybody says about you, you know, they counted me out when I was a kid and and now I'm able to, you know, help others build their businesses and I'm able to do social events that bring out thousands of people and again, shout out to Damani Farley, you know, for believing in me, but um, so I come from a family of uh, my, my brothers and sisters. I have, I have a twin brother. I don't know if you guys know DJ Ketchup. Uh, I, I manage him um, and my brother, Unique Priest. Uh, he's, he's an amazing dancer. DJ Ketchup, he's an amazing uh, entertainer. I mean, this, this guy, he has, he has this swagger about him. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's different. And then, you know, and then my sister, she's, she's a, uh, she, she graduated at the top of her class in, in college. She went to Long Island, she, Long Island University, and she's just brilliant. And then there was me, and I'm like, dang, I'm, in, I'm, I, I'm, I'm around all this greatness, and, and where's my greatness? You know what I mean? What, 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 is, what does this world have in store for me? And for a second, I didn't know what I would be. I didn't know what I could do, and, and I kind of lost my way. I kind of lost who I was. I didn't know, I didn't know who I was. I, I, was, I was basically a, what we see daily. We see people living but they're they're not living, you know. Like I was a I was I, I, if you ask me, I was a, just a dead man walking. I'm just I had no sense of direction. I had no I had no dreams anymore. You know, I used to always want to own a car dealership, but something in me just said I just lost all my dreams. You know, and and growing up, I started realizing that I I think I was trying to you know I was trying to make my father pay for not being in my life. I felt like I was trying to make this man pay, like, you know what, I'm not gonna do good in school. You know why? Because you're gonna pay. You know what I'm saying? And I started realizing that this man's not paying for any of my mistakes, you know? And, and I wanted my father so much, and I had a great mother. My mother, I mean, I don't know if you could see the tie under the list. Yeah, she, she, she made sure that we, 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 we kept up with ourselves, and, and, and to think that I was I was making all these bad decisions on the people I was I was hanging around just because I wanted my father to pay, you know. And this is the first time I actually believe you me. This is the first time I've ever even talked about this, but um, I felt like I was like doing everything to let him know, like you don't know what you were missing out on, you know. You don't know you don't know the life you were missing out on. And then I had to think about it. What life is he missing out on? You know what I mean? What am I doing? What am I doing that would make him feel like, wow, I should have been there for him? You know what I mean? And so I started, I started doing events at Sneakies. I was an artist. I started performing at Sneakies. And, and my following started to build. You know, my, um, uh, so, so my following started to build. And, and, and we, started, we started doing events in Troy, Saratoga, Schenectady, um, all around the capital region, Boston, everywhere. And I, I felt like, you know, there's something to this. And, and I can't allow, you know, the things that I've been through to, to you know, take, a, take a, a big, a big, like, I can't let what happened to me ruin my future. You know, I can't let the fact that, you know, I didn't have a father. There's probably a few people in here that didn't have a father. So who am I to sit here and act like because I didn't have a father, I should just give up and just be a a a a a, a zombie, a zombie just walking the world. So we 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 actually just started doing community events. We started doing a lot of community events. My mom, Lorraine Priest, she um she did a lot of community events. She 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 ran the friendship house. She allowed me to learn under her. And and still I felt like I was like missing what I wanted to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? I I I just I knew I always had a um I knew I always had a, a way of me to be able to spotlight people. I, I knew I was always able to say, nah, this is you. This is, I, I see the best in everything. I see the best in everyone, you know? Like, I see a vision in people that, 
they might not see in their self, which I was talking to um, the young lady over here about is it used to get me mad. Like, why aren't people being the best them? You know, why aren't people going for what they want? And I had to look at myself and I'm like, wow, I'm not going for what I want, you know, and I started I started actually I started a marketing company, a social media marketing company, and it started doing well. I, I was able to uh, market for uh, um, Seat Center, um, uh, sitting comfortable, a very big label. Um, Triple Threat, my brother owns, a, um, Unique Priest, he owns a, a gym called Triple Threat. And I had people taking notice about what I've been doing. And I'm sitting here saying like, wow, I think I got something. You know what I mean? I think I got something. And my mom said, she said, even though your brothers and sisters are doing them, God has a has a plan for you. You know, he has a plan for you. And I'm, I'm sitting there saying, Ma, you know, I'm thinking that's the mom thing to say. You know, oh, you have a plan. All right, Ma, I hear you. I ain't got nothing. I'm going be, to be living with you all my life. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going nowhere. So I I just, I went on my own. I, w- I went on my own way. You know, I ended up having a daughter at, um, in 2014, my daughter is four, we're about to be five now. Her name is Kyla. I have two daughters. Excuse me, I have two daughters now, and they've been. I call. I call my first daughter. I call her. Um, she. She's my wake up call. You know, my first daughter was my wake up call, and my second daughter was my push. She. She pushed me to be the man that I am today. You know, and and. I want to leave a legacy for them. I want to leave. I want to leave something for them that. They knew that their father was 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 a man that 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 wanted to see everybody succeed. I want to see I want to see everybody do good and and I felt like I felt like what what could I do that would leave a legacy for them, you know, and and, and leave a legacy for my family and and I realized that it it was it was me being who I am, you know. I I when I was younger, I I lost. I lost sense of myself. I was a, I was very loving. I was very, I, I was all about the love. And I think, I think my first girlfriend hurt me. I don't know. I think it was her, you know, but she, she, I just felt like I went in this, this mindset where I got to be, I got to be the bad guy. I got to be, I got to be the, the, the Chris Brown after this, you know, I don't know that situation. I got to be that, that bad guy. And I'm sitting here saying, I don't have to be him. I, I I should be myself, you know. Um, and I learned to be myself. I learned I learned that you know some people look at my shoes like, oh, you got cowboy boots on. Yeah, that's cool. That's me, you know. I had to learn to 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 respect who I was and love me. And it 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 hurts me to know that it took the the my mom died in September September twenty seventh, and I felt like I found myself with the loss of my mom, you know, I felt like, I felt like I didn't know, I didn't know who I was, I, I, I didn't know what I want to say today, that's why I was kind of a little shaky, I'm like, nah, do I want a mic, do I, yeah, we gonna do the mic, you know what I'm saying, because I know my mom is right here, you know, my mom is right here with me, and at the same time, I looked at it like, who am I, who am I not to, you know, try when, you know, who, who am I to lose, lose, lose patience and who I will be when my mom's fighting for her life to not be a cancer patient? Who am I? Who am I to stop, you know, believing in what I know I could be when she's yet to stop fighting for her life? You know, and it, it, it woke me up and my mom always told me nothing beats a failure but a try. She, and, and, and this kind of touches on the um, subject, as the gentleman said. To me, nothing beats a failure but a try means at the end of the day, you can fail, but because you tried, you truly didn't fail. You know what I mean? Because you, because you went for it, you know, there's no way you could fail if you try. And, and I do that every day. You know, I, I, um, I, I try to do everything I can to, to try because I, I need my daughters to see that at the end of the day, as long as I try, you know, as long as I try, I don't fail. I don't fail. You can't fail if you try. There's going to be a lot of things that you think you can't do in life. I'm pretty sure you didn't know you would own a, um, a, a clothing company, you know. I'm, I, never, I never thought I would own a, an event coordinating company. I never thought I, I would own a, a, a marketing company, a nightlife company. I never thought these things, you know, because I was truthfully feeling like I was counted out 
since a since a kid. I thought, I, and I went with it. You know, uh, it is what it is. I ain't gonna do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be just like everybody else in my in my you know in, in my community because this is the mindset they were giving us. And I'm sitting here saying, you know, with with the help of Will and you know with the help of Damani and 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 and, and older influencers, I was sitting here saying like. I remember these guys, you know, uh, I, I, he, he hates when I say this, but I remember when he was my, um, my, my, my counselor at Camp Lovejoy, you know what I mean? I remember, I remember him being, you know, this older guy who cared, you know? I remember Damani with the braids, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all remember Damani with the braids, you know what I'm saying? But I remember these times where these men that were just trying to find their way, were trying to find their way, and I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm sitting here not being patient with what's gonna happen for me. And I'm sitting here saying like, these men were patient with what, what, what happened to them, you know? I, I'm, I, I'm now able to, you know, when I don't have meetings off the, you know, thanks to Damani, I'm able to be in, 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 in a lot of the schools in the Schenectady School District, and I'm able to um, build a foundation with, build a foundation with these children as far as, um, so what I do is it's called culture broking and, and we build a gap between the community and the schools. And I've been able to reach out to so many kids and it's changed my life, you know, it changed, it's changed my life and it, it, it allowed me to understand that I was one of these kids that didn't have a way. I mean, the teachers that see me in, in the high school, they were like, they sit there and say like, wait, hold on, Ka, that, Ka, Ka, that's you? You know, and I, I you know, I, I grab my tie, tighten it a little, yeah, that's me. You know, but they they just look at it and say, Wow, like the man you are today, you know, like like we would have never thought and, and I and I said, Well, you know, we I don't think they counted me out, but at the same time, it's like it's like I feel like we could be better together than farther apart and and if you understood what I was going through because a lot of a lot of the teachers didn't know what we were going through you know what I'm saying I'm I'm going home and I'm sitting here saying like I want my dad you know what I'm saying I want my dad but I got my mom I have a beautiful my mom my mom is an amazing woman and and it, and it used to hurt me to think like dang I'm doing all this to hurt my father when really I should be doing all this to show my mom that you did a great job. And and this is why I came here today. You know, I don't I don't speak too much. You know, I'm a I'm a silent win. I let DJ Ketchup do all that. But I I, I wanted to take a chance and I say, you know what, I'm gonna get get up in front of them and let them know that at the end of the day, nothing beats a failure but a try. You could do whatever you want. I'm I'm a living testimony of it. I I, I literally, I literally never thought that. I could go, I, I, just today, just today, I, I was able to go to a dealership and they told me to pick any car I wanted. So I picked my favorite car. I, like, I never thought I could do this, you know what I mean? I never thought growing up that, that I would be the man that I am today. And, and, and I just want people to know nothing beats a failure but a try. And, 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 and again, how he said, don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to fail. You, you're gonna fail at a lot. You know, I, I, I actually, I, I started a weight, a weight loss thing too as well. Um, and I had to learn to portion my meals. And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm not no little guy. Like I can't be portioning these meals. I need seconds and everything. And I'm, I'm sitting here saying, dang. And, and now after two months, I'm down 32 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, like these are things that I thought I couldn't do, but it's truthfully mind over matter. You know, it's mind over matter. And and I and I just I just want people to go for what they want. I want I want I want I I want people to be the best them. You know, and grow into the best you, because there there there's nothing we can't do. This world kind of tries to give us so much information to the point that we forget what's real and what what needs to be highlighted. You know, and and it's you. It's you. It's who you are. Who are you? Who who. Who are you? Who are you without the money? Who are you without the cars? Who are you without the houses? Who are you? Who, who? A lot of people can't even answer that question. They don't know who they are without, you know, the the, the chains and the outfits and stuff. And I had to learn, like, yo, I'm, I, dang, I'm back in the, like, I'm going to get the true religions for two, three hundred dollars. And, and and really, like, my mom, my mom, like, oh, oh, you got money. Oh, you got money, right, Kyle? Or you could pay bills and stuff. I'm like, dang, my. You're right. I should have, you know, I should have did this. But I, I tried to fit in so much, and I had to realize that I always stood out. You know, I always stood out, and I had to follow that. I had to follow that. So, so what I'm able to do now is I'm able to use what I've done in my life to to help 
younger kids, you know, I'm, I'm able to help kids my age, a little older, that still have this thought that this is the only way. There, you could do anything you want. You could truthfully do anything you want. Did, did I think I would be an event planner? Did I think, did I think I could ever put a wedding together? I never thought I could do these things. You know, I never, I never even wanted to do these things. But it, it came with the territory of being a, a, a promoter and so forth. So I, I never thought someone would give me the, the key to their business and say, "Listen, bring us into the right direction." You know, I what? Hold on, I don't even know what direction I'm going in right now. So, at the same time, and my goal, my goal is really to be able to bring my daughters to meetings and show them at the end of the day, like, you're able to see your father, the, the man that you know to be everything, you're, you're able to see him lock in contracts so men could never hold those trophies over their head that most men use to, for women. And, and, and this is me speaking to women. It's time for you guys to step out of the shadows of men. It's, it's time right now. And I'm, I, 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 I want to thank Will for letting him go, go last because at the end of the day, I'm nothing, I'm, I'm not the man I am today without my mother. You know, I'm not the man I am today and, 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 and I want my daughters to find, I want my daughters to never, I want, I want my daughters to never have a situation where men are holding their, their, their trophies over their head. Like, what, my dad did all that. He did it, he, what, oh you, oh, you got nice cars, you got nice, oh, he did that, he did that. What do we, you have to come with a bond and a love with my daughters. And, 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 and I'm talking to women when I say this, it's time for you guys to step out of the shadows because at the end of the day, I'm nothing without my sister, I'm nothing without, I'm nothing without my mom, I'm nothing without my grandmother, and, and most of us are nothing without you guys, you know? So at the end of the day, it, it's time, it's time. This world will never change until you guys take lead, you know? Like, and I believe that, I believe that you guys create. I was created, <laughs> I was created, and, I, and there was two of them, and I don't know how my mom did it, it was twins, and I'm like, whoa, hold on, You're, that's crazy, but at the same time, you know, nothing beats a failure but a try, um, I, I love you, mom, I, I, I didn't go on my, um, I, had, I had some things written down, but I, I freestyled, and I'm like, you know, I, I appreciate you guys taking the time, and, and if, you know, follow me on my social medias, I mean, we're, I'm, I'm in that, I'm in that, Rome, follow me on my social medias and watch me grow. You know, I mean, these this isn't the la the next the last time I would be up here doing something like this. And I, I want to I want you guys to see the growth of a person who never thought that they could do what they they're doing right now. You know, I I've never done this. I've never sat up here, you know, um, doing this. But I'm gonna get better and better. And 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 I appreciate you guys for giving me the chance to be up here. And I, I want to leave nothing be so failure but a try. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. And thanks, thanks, y'all.